I again, I will continue with the upgrade to R77, from R77 830 to R8030. I installed a new machine. I upgrade the deployment agent and after it, install the hotfix. Now it's time to to edit the clish command and to paste them <coughs> to the network. Those are the commands. I guess we'll save this. And I delete everything that is not necessary for us. Okay, from here it starts. The host name, I already configure it from the first time without, so I don't need to configure it again. All of these rows and commands are default, so I will use the in bash because it's for experts. I configure the password and the installation. This is default, 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 default. Everything is default. Everything is default. Okay. It's time also already Jerusalem. I started the installation the first time the installation I configure on ETH1 because this PC is managing the gateway. Okay, so ETH0 we did it. ETH1 I already configured. And this is ETH2, we don't need the ILO. We need to delete the default gateway from the first time without. So I just do it both. And that's it. We don't need the OSPF. We already configured the NS. And those are my commands. So let's copy it. Copy. Reset. It's a new installation. Remember the use DNS. I need to fix it here also. I think the expert password is here. No. That's it. Show configuration. Because I have an error message, I will check the static route. So I need to delete this one. Let's check in the in the screen. My default gateway is this one, 10.5.1.1. So I need to delete this. I will do, of course, I configure, otherwise on the next reboot, it will not save, this next will be deleted. Um, Let's see if I have here the expert. Okay. Where is my expert? There is no expert, so let's configure it. It will be easier. No, 
now the first stage is done. The glitch commands now. We need the migrate utility, the migrate database. So I will go here. It should be everything. We will drop it here. Go to the backup. This one is instead of WinSCP. MIG to R8030. This one we migrate from the R77. Now, I will log off. I'm already here. PWD. Okay. Now, I need to go to. To the upgrade folder and now migrate import from here yes now we just have to wait The migration utility is verified that the database is, is fine and it can uh, import it. And it looks okay. We don't have error message. I forgot to open the small dashboard and to see that there is nothing on our new installation R8030. No rules, no object. Now, after the migrate import, we will see all the rules from the R7730. Importing files. It's still importing the files, but I think it's better to do it from the console of the VMware because if the import uh, disconnect the session. We can't see the the if it's successful or we have an error. So I just check here on top. I see if it's too busy and it's uh, decreasing the CPU. So it's okay. I will just start and see. The, the IP 10553. Let's see if it works. If it will not work, so we just need to wait a little bit more. Well, eventually I get this message. Do you wish to start the checkpoint? The import operation complete successfully. This is very important. I will wait a little bit and we'll try the dashboard. I'm trying again, connecting, connecting. Still have to wait. Voila, initialize services. We have R8030, and in a few more seconds, we'll see all the all. And that's it. This is how it looks, R8030, all the policies migrate and working.